Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is the Unify Express 7. And I have one of these right here. And this is an upgrade, a considerable upgrade from the last version of the Express. You can see that this thing's quite a bit, it's quite a bit thicker, quite a bit quite a bit beefier. Actually, if you hold on a second, I think I have one of the old ones and we'll compare it. All right, so uh, old version, new version. So it is still has ports and the LCM and all that good stuff. Let's see if I can get this to focus. But you can see there's a considerable size difference. And that's because the specs are uh, pretty beefed up on this. In the box, you get the device itself and you can actually see the cooling that's here around the outside of course we've got our screen our power reset and our WAN and LAN you get a set of feet if you want to use those in this little bag here just those little uh, I don't know if they're 3M or who makes them but they're the little rubber feet that you put on the bottom you get your power brick with your Mickey Mouse ear cable, and then you actually get a really nice uh, Ethernet cable. This is one of those braided cables. This thing, this thing is pretty, pretty nice. So we're gonna get this uh, plugged in while it's booting and all that good stuff. We're gonna take a look at the spec sheet. So stand by for that. All right, here we are over at the spec sheet for the Unify Express 7, the UX7. And you can see here it's an all-in-one router with six gigahertz support. It looks like it's got a, a 300 client capacity. You can get UI care on this for $39. Uh, you can also get the Cyber Secure for $99 per unit per year, which is the uh, proof point you know, signatures that are updated in real time. Now the LAN port on this is 2.5 gig, but the WAN port is 10 gig. So if you've got a small office, an apartment, something like that, and everything's Wi-Fi, but you want you know all of the additional things, this could be this could be a good fit. It comes in at 199 USD. Let's see what else they tell us in the technical. So it runs Unify network only. You can manage 30 plus Unify devices behind it. So if you wanted to expand your network, you could. And let's see what else. So IDS IPS throughput on this is 2.3 gigabits per second. It says it will cover 1,750 square feet with the Wi-Fi. And of course we get all of the Unify network all of the things. Dynamic routing here says it's limited to OSPF, so we may not be able to do BGP on this. But we get mostly everything else. You can see it does have the six gigahertz band, five gigahertz and 2.4. And these are two by two radios. 22 watts of power consumption, USB-C type power adapter. It does have a quad core ARM Cortex A5300 at 1.5 gigahertz per core, three gigs of system memory, and you could use your mobile app to set this up and manage it, or you can plug into it the way that we're going to. So I'm going to go ahead and plug my machine into it, and we're going to walk through the setup on this and take a look at the hardware. And then you can tell me what you think. So hold on just a second. All right, so we got uh, plugged in and automatically the Unify device screen loaded in a new tab here and wants us to do a setup. So what are we going to call this? We're going to call this WHT Express 7. And next, and then I am going to sign into my Ubiquiti account so that I can manage this from anywhere, so stand by while I do that. All right, we've successfully authenticated to Ubiquity, and now it wants to know if I want to restore from backup or if I want to 
upload one or if I want to continue without backup. I'm going to continue without the backup. We are going to call the Wi-Fi network Express 7. Make this a super secure password. And we're going to go ahead and hit finish here. And it is going to go ahead and it may auto update. But it is finishing the configuration. So as soon as this is done, we'll be right back. And it now says setup is complete. You can now manage your Unify Express 7 from anywhere. Go to dashboard. So I'm going to go to the dashboard here. And I'm going to get signed in and we're going to we're going to take a look. And once we once we did that, now you can see the console is updating. So it's automatically uh, upgrading to the latest general release software. So I'm going to let this update and then we will come right back. All right, looks like our update is done and we are rebooted. So I'm going to go ahead and get signed in. And we'll just do this locally, but I do have this bound to the Ubiquiti Cloud, so I can manage it from anywhere. All right, so we are now logged into the Express 7. Take a look at our topology. That's it. We just have the Express 7. Unify device is here, WHT Express 7. You can see it says I'm connected to i3 broadband. And you can see here that these ports can negotiate at different speeds. So you see my LAN port right here is connected at 2.5 gig. Now on the 10 gig side, it looks like we can do 100 meg, gigabit, 2.5, 5, and 10 gig. So it is multi gig. We have the packet capture option here. We have our port manager. And then we, of course, get all of our AP statistics and things like that. If we go to settings, we could well, we can't rename this here, but we have to do that in OS settings. But under settings here, we can manage our radio resources, such as our chan channel width, uh, channel, transmit power, whether we're going to use min or SSI. Here's our 5 gigahertz, same thing, 6 gigahertz. We can be a mesh parent. So when enabled, this AP will be available to mesh downlink child APs in the network. We've got SNMP options here, our MSS clamping. ARP cache timeout, auto firewall states, and then we can locate or reset. So I'm a little curious if we go to settings. So this updated to network 9.2.87. Um, so, you know, 9.5 is the latest one that's out. So let's see if we can update to that. And we can. We can update to 9.5.21, so it did at least update it to 9.2.87. But before I, before I do that, is there anything else about this hardware? So under console, it figured out our time zone. There's the name. That's where we would change the name of the device. We've got our screen settings, email server settings, support files, certificates, remote access, SSH. We can transfer ownership. So let's see real quick if I connect my phone to the Wi-Fi on this. And let's just go back and we'll see. I think everything is set at auto. So it is set at auto. But let me see what happens if we connect to Express 7. It'll, you know, the phone's going to be kind of lazy and it's going to connect at whatever it wants to so we could hopefully we'll connect it on the, the six gigahertz and we'll see what a speed test looks like here so let's see if under clients my phone's not quite showing up just yet there it is and it is Wi-Fi 7 2x2 looks like it is on the six gigahertz um, on a 40 megahertz channel so let me pull up my internal speed test and we'll see what we're getting here. And real quick, if we go back to this client, we can see that we're negotiated at 574 down and 688 up. So I would expect to get between two and 300 in each direction. So the speed test is running now. And my download is at 430.
and my upload is at 489 so pretty part and parcel here actually pretty good out of the box no tuning I like that looks looks good we're seeing ISP packet loss detection not sure that might have been you know whenever we were we were messing with this but I'm gonna go ahead and update this to 9.5 and I'm gonna cover 9.5 in the next video so if you've got any questions about this device like I said I could see this being used you know you got a one level you know one level home you know maybe a couple bedrooms small house everything's gonna be Wi-Fi but you want some of the other things that a gateway can provide and maybe you've got gigabit or better internet at home it's a nice inexpensive device if you're not going to plug anything else into it and, and you can plug other things into it if you've got an apartment or a, you know maybe a garage or something and you just you need the Wi-Fi but you want that assurance of the gateway settings this thing for 199 bucks is going to be able to future proof those installations for quite a while so if you've got any questions about the device let me know down below like I said I'm going to get this updated uh, up to 9.5 and we're going to cover 9.5 which is the latest release of the Unify software and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe comment share follow me on Twitter and TikTok those links are down below along with affiliate links a Patreon link and if you need IT consulting if you want someone to help tune your network up or make sure that you've got security settings set the way you should if you need voice over IP storage uh, all of those things security Head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to uh, community.willyhow.com and talk about your experience with this device. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.